Hey, this is Patrick from the Wellness Enterprise with a uh, video here of an unboxing of the best water pitcher ever and a demonstration about how you season the filter to get it working for the first time. So we just ordered um, a pitcher for the house. It comes in a box like this. And we did something I highly recommend you do, which is we ordered a replacement filter when we got the pitcher because you don't want your pitcher to stop working and not have a filter on hand. Always have one on hand. So when you get your, your, um, your box, you're gonna go ahead and open it up. And forgive me if I'm a little awkward with this. I didn't prep the video by doing this first. So this is the first time I've done it um, in a long time. So I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. It is uh, taped shut here. So I'm gonna open that up. And there is my picture. And, um, there you have it, best water pitcher ever. First thing you see is um, got some tape on here, keeping the lid in place while it traveled. I'm gonna pull that up and you can see that the tape is going down the side there. So I'm gonna pull the tape off and set the lid aside. And then <clears throat> inside the, um, the vessel here is the filter. And this is the place where people sometimes get confused. Like, what is going on here? So you undo the plastic wrap. Do it my way, you know, kind of like things quick and easy. So um, just rip it apart. Okay, this red piece here comes screwed into the top. And this is the part you need for seasoning the filter. This is the filter. And what happens is this is a uh, very long channel for water to go through and it comes dry and until you get some water to run through it it can um, if you're only gravity dripping through it it cannot pass so we put this piece on top there's probably a fancy name for it but I don't know what it is um, which is perfect right we just want things to be easy when we buy stuff um, so we take this part right here and we turn our kitchen sink on uh, no, nope, we don't turn the sink on. We take it and we put it up over the sink. Can you tilt the video down there so we see that? Just put it up over the sink like that, right? So I'm just, I'm just going like this. Oh, there we go. It went all the way in. Love that. And then I'm just going to turn the water on slowly at first. I'm not even holding the filter. And then I, I'm noticing it's a little weak at the top, so I'm tightening the red thing a little more. And then I'm going to turn up my pressure. And you can see there's water going through the filter at the bottom. There's a little bit spilling out the top. I could probably tighten the red thing even more to seal that off, but it doesn't matter. And that's the point here is all you have to do is force water through the filter for a minute. You don't have to make a big deal out of it. So water under pressure. One of the problems that people run into is they have a very modern, I'm gonna turn this off um, so I don't, uh, don't have to talk over that the whole time. People have a really modern faucet and it won't fit into that black thing. So I'm gonna add a couple of photos or maybe a little more video at the end of this video, show you where I'm gonna take this outside to a garden spigot and season it through there. You can do it on your bathroom faucet, basically any faucet. Come on and look down here again at this faucet. You see this? Anything that's got something like that, that you can put this over, that's all you need. And then once you've run water through it for a little bit, you simply unscrew it. The filter is now seasoned. You pull this part out and you screw it together and then you put this back in and you put your lid on top like that and the hole just pushes down like that so I just put it in the sink and turn my water on and if you can tilt down there you can see it's it's filling right up for me and now the water will, in fact, pass through the filter. Um, I'm going to just fill for a second here and show you. You see, at the beginning, it starts kind of slow. And this is not a rapid fire filter, but what you do is just put it in the sink, turn some water on, fill that top part up, and go do something else. Come back to it, and, um, and your water will all be filtered for you. And it, as, until you've filled all of this up at the bottom, you just keep adding more, more water into the top. So it's really easy to use these uh, pitchers. If you have any questions or concerns, we're at thewellnessenterprise.com and we're uh, always here to serve you.
Hey, this is Patrick, um, part two here of our video on how to get the best water pitcher ever filter working right the first time you use it. You put this red piece in top and sometimes you don't have access on your kitchen sink to something that this will fit on. So you just come into the bathroom sink. Now, two things about this. One is, I don't know how well the faucet is going to fit in here and there might be a leak out the top. Two, there might be a leak out the side. I don't really care about either. All I care is do I get a drip of water to go through this at a stream. And once it starts going through there at a stream, the filter's ready and you can put it in your pitcher. So I'm just gonna jam that on there and I'm gonna hold it with my hand. It's, it, doesn't, it doesn't attach like it did in the kitchen sink one. I'm gonna turn the water on full. Okay, I'm getting a little pressure up through the top sides and I'm getting a little <coughs> leak out the back. But the important part is I'm getting water coming through the filter at the bottom right here. And that's all you need. That's all you need. You're just seasoning this thing, getting some water to flow through it. So that's part two of how you do it. Now come on over to the shower and I'll show you part three. Okay guys, ready? Part three here about how to season your best water pitcher ever filter. Get some channel locks, get your shower head, cover up the place where your shower head attaches and make a little turn with the channel locks. Set them down, take your hat, shower head, spin it off. You now have a half inch pipe exposed. Take your end, put it here, turn it on. Get water to come through here. You guys haven't had a really good view of the water coming through, so I'm gonna be brave here and see what happens. Here we go. All right, I got a lot going up the wall and down my sleeve, but you saw <laughs> a lot going down my sleeve, but you saw it coming out the filter, and that's all you gotta do. There's three ways to do it in the house. The fourth way is with a, um, a garden spigot, and it's the same thing. Just take the black thing to it, hold it on. You guys get the idea now. Get some water to flow through this thing, and then your pitcher will be running great. Hey guys, it's Patrick with one little last section here about getting your best water pitcher ever working properly. After you've gotten the flow through the filter and it's working, it should work for about 150 gallons of water. If your water is really filled with toxins and they clog up the pathway, it might be less. And that means it's doing its job. So 150 is an average. And the way you'll know that it's time to replace the filter is one of two things will happen. Either water will stop throwing, flowing through the pitcher, the trickle just gets so small there's no water going anymore, or two, you'll start to taste chlorine. And if chlorine starts to come through, you know that the filter has um, been exhausted. So just consider how long you've had the filter, how many people are drinking, like for example, three people in a house, everybody's drinking a gallon a day, three gallons a day. The filter should last about 50 days, three times 50, 150. Um, so you need a new one about every two months. So that's the way it works. The other thing is, let's say you go on vacation and you don't take it with you and it sits for six months or a year without being used, when you go to use it again, just season it again. Put it back on, run some water through it hard, and uh, see what happens. Um, it should get going again, and it should have no problem filtering for at least 150 gallons of water. So we hope you love your pitcher. Um, it's a fabulous pitcher. It does a great job removing toxins, and now you know how to make it work for you.